everyone so today i'm bringing to you guys something really really different it is a vlog style um, video which is definitely new to me and it is a tour of my new space to receive my students to teach classes and i don't really call it like a school or anything just because it's not big enough and stuff but it's definitely um, a space that I'm very proud of and I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys the thing is we had to renovate this place in like less than 10 days and it was crazy before I'm gonna put some pictures right here so that you guys can see the way that it looked before So yeah, it looked like that. But anyways, um, this is um, the, the wall right after you get out of the elevator. This is the wall that you see and this is an arrow that shows you the glass door to the new place. So let's check it out. This is the door and right here, I'm gonna flip the camera. So, as you guys can see, there's a fire extinguisher right there. Um, there is where I keep the water, the coffee, some cookies for my students, some treats, um, some plastic cups, the trash. Um, and it's just a little cabinet where, you know, the things go, the coffee, the, the water, the cookies and everything else. Um, it goes right there and yeah so next to it there are some armchairs and there um, the, there is a table with a chair where that's where I prepare my lessons I plan all my lessons right there on that table <laughs> and that's the door to the classroom and that's the door to the library. A couple more chairs, um, another fire extinguisher, and that's the glass door again. So now I'm gonna show you guys the library and the classroom. Let's start with the library, which, you know, to be honest, I decided to have a library just because I I mean, I had this free room, so I was like, what am I gonna do with it? And then I, you know, since I have so many books at home, so many English books, um, I decided to make a library because um, it could be something very fun for the kids and also very um, helpful for them because it can definitely help them learn English. Um, okay. So let's go in. So I have a wall of, uh, with some stickers. So they're really cute. There's a monkey over there. And here I have the shelves. Um, not all of the books are here. There are definitely more books to bring, but I'm bringing them slowly because you know, books are heavy <laughs> and but, but anyways, I'm bringing them slowly and as I told you guys before, I had to do this. I had to renovate this entire place in like 10 days. So bringing books was definitely not a priority. So last week we um, set up the shelves and now we are slowly putting books on them. And that's my gingerbread man, which I love. Um, right here I have a green screen so if you are an English teacher and you have the opportunity to paint a wall green so that you can make videos and help the kids bring their creativity more into class I highly recommend that you paint a wall green and make a green screen this works beautifully beautifully it works wonderful 
it's amazing but that's a sign that says library <laughs> um right here there is a chair if you know a student wants to come here read a book while they wait for you know their big sibling to finish class they can definitely do that or if you know a parent wants to come here read a book i have books for every single age group um there i have vr glasses more books a ring light for the videos if it's dark and some more stuff to <laughs> finish um the renovations because it's not a hundred percent ready so i apologize for that so you can see some more stuff in there but just ignore that please so now so guys here i think you can have a better view of the place and look how big this is it's huge i know that the floor tiles are not the best tiles but i did not have time to change them to replace those so i apologize for that but it is what it is and look at how big this place is it's a huge patio this is the patio that i was talking about that's my name and that's the classroom so let's go in okay so this is my classroom that's what i used to project the image right there so this is really really cool um you can find these a lot like not cheap but nowadays you can find them for a lot cheaper than they used to be so i highly recommend that you look for one of these because they are very very helpful in class um right here this is just something that my mother gave me to put my markers i love this triangle it's so cute that's my little cabinet like <laughs> next to the cabinet um there are some flip charts and that's the trash can <laughs> there is a fan over there some windows a lot of windows right here right i put this paper on the window so that it is darker here because when you turn it on you it, like the room really has to be darker so that the students can see better when it's projected over there so um that's it so yeah that's the classroom if you want a classroom tour um you know something a lot more into detail of what i have because let me tell you something i have a lot of stuff over there a lot of stuff um so just tell me in the comments below if you guys would like to have a classroom tour um, a more detailed one um, and I will definitely show what's in that cabinet because there is a lot of teacher stuff over there <laughs> again this is the door that says classroom I love those little signs they're so cute so again this is the space um, the students have been loving it which makes me so glad so happy because everything that I do everything that I've done was for the students so I'm really glad that they've been enjoying this place. So again, we are back to where we started. So this is the wall that you see right after you leave the elevator. And I'm gonna show you the toilet. I'm not gonna show you inside the toilet because I don't think there's a point, but just the outside. And one more sign. <laughs> That's it for today, you guys. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. Once again, just want to say that I'm really, really thankful and really excited for, you know, having this place right now where I can receive my students. Once again, everything that I do, I do for them. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about the place, about how to be an independent teacher and all that stuff, leave me in the comments below. And if you guys want to see like, a library tour or a classroom tour or a toilet tour i don't know why you guys would like to see that but anyways leave everything that you want to see in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out all my social media the links will be in the description down below my course bit of material whether you are an independent teacher or you know you work um at a school doesn't matter my course is for every kind of English teacher, so please make, sh make sure to check it out. 
Um, so once again, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and I see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.